partnerships here are phenomenal. The Air Force Research Lab needs to engage and collaborate with more outside vendors so we can get capability to the warfighter much more rapidly and much more effectively. AFRL, the Air Force Research Lab, was the Rome Air Development Center, then it was Rome Lab, and then the Air Force decided to reorganize. They had a number of labs across the country. The labs got transitioned into what they now call directorates. So here in Rome, New York, is the Information Directorate. We're pretty fortunate that the region has an economic engine in the Air Force Research Laboratory which is not only a large employer here, but also has a tremendous economic impact with over $400 million in annual economic output. There's a number of national and homegrown businesses that are co-located here, principally to be located next to AFRL. Innovation is our DNA. Right now, 65% of our programs are directly impacting the warfighter, whether that's in some type of test uh, that the warfighters engaged in or in the field. Their focus is extremely broad because information touches a number of areas, including computations, advanced computing like quantum, neuromorphic computing, communications, even the cell phone technology. It's really essential for us to have partnerships like that. And the lab has been our partner. Uh, the Alliance makes sure that we are all on the same page. And so everything we're doing is really a combination of, of working together in both our interests. The FRL is a forward-thinking organization on the cutting edge of research. They look for things that are happening over the horizon. They're thinking about the defense of this nation and what technology do we have to have 10 and 15 years from now. They're an economic engine that sits right here in Rome. We're all putting these cool devices in our homes, in our cars. Everything is internet enabled. Well, what does that really mean from a privacy perspective or a security perspective? Those are the types of technologies that the Air Force Research Lab is very much engaged in. Cyber is a huge concern for the entire nation. Right now, we are really working hard on cyber vulnerability assessments. Having teams go in and look at code in the developmental phases to transform it so it's more secure. As our conflicts unfortunately continue to grow around the world, more work will be needed here in research and development in cybersecurity. If that isn't going to go away, that's a constant threat. We're just staying diligent on what's happening in their realm and trying to build upon that. Just helping to further cybersecurity, that's, that's huge for our small businesses. Quantum is the future. We're looking at quantum information, quantum sensors, quantum computing, quantum networking. We want to educate the students in our academic institutions about what the lab is doing, cybersecurity, quantum computing, and to understand that there are challenging and rewarding opportunities for them by staying in the local area. The state of New York is extremely behind us. They are putting in tens of millions of dollars through the SUNY system or the state system to either hire the workforce or get the facilities to enable great uh, capability at speed. The State University of New York and AFRL Information Directorate have an education partnership where we work on translation of technologies, creation of teams, and creating the workforce of the future. And the Central New York Defense Alliance has been a critical connector for us in our journey to create those deeper connections between the lab and the academic community. Walt Disney said doing the impossible is fun. I think a lot of people think about that as far as quantum, but it is much more near term than I think a lot of people think. Based upon the advances that have been going on over the last couple of years, I really feel that Rome is postured well to help advance this very important field. Folks like the Small Business Development Center, they are working with the lab on commercialization programs, trying to inspire entrepreneurs to create new businesses and, and build on this foundational ecosystem that we have. I look at Rome Lab as a key innovation center that's getting people engaged in leveraging technology. The sky is the limit. The new directions that they're going with at the lab in quantum, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and cyber, 
they're having huge, huge impacts. The, the, these, these are the things that are going to make the difference in the future. Getting people to think out of the box and develop new products and stimulate new business development is, is really what's happening. Thank you.